Hey everybody, the Catch Can Man here with UPR Products and we're in the UPR Products garage today with a 2023 Nissan Pro 4X V8 pickup truck. We're gonna show you how to install the Catch Can. It's uh, really pretty easy and it's made even easier with our instructions on the QR code. So when you get your box, you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna go over the QR code and you'll see where that little yellow square will pop up. Tap that and it's gonna load your instructions onto your phone. Makes it really nice and easy, so you can kinda of have this here, you can expand it, you can scroll through, so it actually makes it, to me, a lot easier. One of the first things you're gonna do is get everything out of the bag. You have your catch can kit and bracket. You're gonna have your hoses. We're gonna have our hose end covers that go over and make the end of the cut end of the hoses dress up and give it that clean UPR look. There's also in the box, you're gonna find a general instruction sheet. This is just general information on maintaining your catch cans. And of course, decals, everyone needs a golden ticket in their box. So let's get right to it. First thing with the truck is you're gonna undo and pick up this engine cover. You're gonna pick it up in the front and pull it forward to release it. With your instructions on the phone, what you can do is look at the picture here that shows the orientation of the hoses. You'll see that one end for the catch can is a 45, and the other end will be a straight fitting. So your straight fitting is gonna be your passenger side hose, the hose of the 45 is gonna be your driver's side hose. And we can do that really easily by expanding again with that QR code, brings up that instruction right on our website right away. First step is we're gonna take out the 10 millimeter bolt, install the catch can bracket, and then start doing the hoses. 10 millimeter socket. Catch cam bracket is going to go right in place with the same bolt. Get the bolt started before you tighten it. Next step is you're gonna find your PCV hoses. There's two PCVs. You have one on this valve cover, one on the opposite valve cover. So to get started, we're gonna remove the factory PCV hose on the driver's side, and we're also gonna take the one off of the passenger side, which is closer to the front. You're gonna need a pair of pliers just to squeeze the clamps to get those to back off. Remove that hose. And then on the driver's side, there'll be a hose that's gonna run from the front of the intake manifold to the valve cover here. So this is your passenger side hose and then your driver's side hose here. Squeeze the clamp, pull it back onto the hose to get it away from the fitting. This one's gonna be really hard to see on camera, so uh, you'll have to trust me on this one. It's there. Just follow the hose like you would the yellow brick road. And that's your passenger side hose. So again, when you look at your instructions, you're gonna see that you have one hose that has a 45 degree angle and one hose that has a straight hose, uh, fitting. So your 45 degree angle is gonna be your driver side hose. This is gonna be your PCV side hose. This is gonna connect to the valve covers only. This side is your vacuum hose. This is gonna connect to your intake manifold only. To connect onto the Nissan barb fittings, we're gonna go ahead and 
open up and take out a couple of the slide on fittings. So these hose fittings, they just slide over. We call them ferrules or people call them hose end covers. It keeps you from having this cut end look that is so unfinished and gives you a really nice clean look that UPR has become known for. So I'm gonna do the side that you can't see first. You're just gonna push the hose on until it's all the way on the fitting. Slide your ferrule on to the end of the hose. And on the PCB side, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but there's a just a barb type fitting here. Just gonna push the hose all the way down over it until it's fully seated. And what I like to do just simply route the hose so that's gonna nicely fit and connect to the catch can. Once you hear that nice satisfying click, as my friend Doug would say, you know it's connected properly. So again, just repeat the process on the intake manifold vacuum side so this hose is made so that you're gonna to connect to the intake manifold fitting here and also at the back of the intake manifold. So you'll, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually connect it first so I can get my routing correct and as clean as I would like to make it. And you can route this any way you like. Connect the hose end cover. Push it onto the fitting. Hose end cover. Hold it with your finger so you don't drop it. And push it all the way onto the fitting. Once you have your hoses routed and you're happy with everything is connected properly, go back and double check your connections. Then just reinstall your engine cover and your catch can installation is complete. To check your catch can, about every thousand miles or so at first, just to kind of get used to it. Just reach under here and just unscrew the cup. And just walk over to your drain bucket and drain it out. The UPR catch can has a high quality Viton O-ring that's replaceable. We do have spares available on our website. It's also built construction, so it's very durable and has high quality threads. Reinstall your catch can. And you do not want to over tighten this. Once the O-ring, you feel the O-ring meet the top of the can uh, with a little bit of resistance and then you just snug it, kind of like an oil filter. Don't want to over tighten it, just enough to keep it on there. And that's your UPR Nissan uh, 5.6, 5.7 liter V8 catch can kit. Get yours at uprproducts.com or any UPR products dealer or call 561 588-6630.